our invitation by Mrs. Sednick and our Pledge of Allegiance by Mrs. Scott. And for those of you that want to participate in this portion of the agenda, please stand. Sharon Moore Askins, 178 South Akron Street, Lake City, South Carolina. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I brought to the attention of the mayor over the past four or five years the problem we have at South Akron and West Thomas Street about large trucks going over the tracks and getting stuck. And as recently as two weeks, I sent two pictures of trucks passing over it. Um, and I brought it also to Ms. Snowden's uh, attention also. And at that time, she said she would get with the police chief and they would develop a plan of how to address that. So I'm just bringing that to your attention again because it's continuing to happen every day on a daily basis. And it is putting the safety of the citizens at Lake City, in Lake City at, at harm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Good evening, members of council. Uh, my name is Matthew Scandrell. I am the new 10th, 11th, and 12th grade principal at Lake City High School. I uh, just wanted to come in, introduce myself. Uh, it is our plan for a representative from the administrative team at Lake City to be here each month just to participate and be kind of in the know what's going on in our community and offer what we can do, kind of how can we partner to work out some of the situations and just work together within the community. So just introducing myself. Thank you. My name is Jane Player, and I live 212 Academy Street, Lake City. And um, with the recent problem with the water, I did not know anything about it until Friday. And I think it happened on Wednesday. And I would just like to for you all to think this over some way that the citizens could be notified when there's a problem with drinking the water. I even called the water department and asked if they could put at the beginning of each street a notice that we had to boil the water. And I didn't see that happen, but I think it, that's something that needs your consideration. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, if no other comments, we will move forward to our presentations. Excuse me, Chair. I need a vote for the approval of the meeting minutes. Ah. I'm moving on down the line. Thank you. We need to go back to item two quickly. Approval of minutes from Tuesday, July 10th, 2018, regular city council meeting, and Tuesday, May 22nd, 2018, budget workshop. Move to approve. Second. Second. Properly moved and second. Questions or discussion? If none, all those in favor, by show of hands. Thank you. Now we're at presentation. Girl State presentation, uh, Mary Ellen Player, city manager, and Google Fiber Teller. Mr. Mayor, City Council, fellow citizens of Lake City, um, it's my great pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, you heard from my mom about the water. I hope that uh, uh, we can get, get working on that. I think she came out because I was here, but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll keep the city engaged there. My heart, my body lives in Charlotte, uh, but my heart is always in Lake City. Um, and it's always in Lake City, um, particularly in, for a week in June, when I had the great pleasure to attend How Mother Girl State. And I've been attending How Mother Girl State for the last 19 years. Uh, but I was only able to do that out of the generos generosity of folks who live in Hartsville, South Carolina, which is where I spent my last two years. Uh, at, the, at the Governor's School for Science and Math. But while my heart is in Lake City, my heart is also always a Lake City High School Panther. Um, and it has been my great pleasure to support two young women um, since, uh, since I, was, uh, I have been able, which is from the last four, four years, to attend and represent the city of Lake City um, each year in that program. Girl State, uh, the epitome of Girl State is what you do on council each and every day, which is to build um, a, a fictional state and to teach young women uh, the importance of leadership um, and the creation of a local and state government. And I can say I am so proud um, of the representation that you have from the two young women here who we are honoring tonight, Francis Singletary and Jasmine Bland, who I'd love to stand. represented our city uh, on the state stage and have done so incredibly well. Uh, both were citizens of high acclaim in their cities, and Francis was elected to the highest office at Girl State, speaking, in front, speaking on behalf of 645 of the top students across the state as governor, uh, the first governor from Lake City. So, this is a so I would say to their parents, you have raised incredible young women, continue to support them. I would say to this community, continue to support young women and young men of Lake City in their greatness. Continue to support, I would say probably the public school system, the backbone of our community. I am so pleased. Um, for a new principal to be here to recognize these leaders that you have in your midst. They're going to be seniors. Put them to work. They are ready to go. Um, but this is a great day for Lake City. It's a great day for me personally. <coughs> and I'm so glad to turn the stage over to Francis again. Any words to say, Governor? Governor? Um, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just glad that Ms. Player gave us both the opportunity to go to Girl State and just meet um, different girls from across South Carolina. Um, it was a great opportunity, and I learned a lot of things. So, yeah. uh, good afternoon, and like Francis said, uh, we're very grateful for the opportunity that was brought to us. Um, and again, uh, Girl State is a very, it's a movement. It's, it's about women empower, empowering um, each other and being the best version of, of of us and 
I just I wanted council I, I wanted council as well as our citizens to really just commend um, these young men for all their hard work. Um, they've been working on the new landing ball field as well as maintaining not just the um, city facilities but also some of the gateways and they're always willing to step up and help and so um, we will be providing you with certificates but in the interim Mr. Driggers is going to be taking everybody to lunch on him on his dime <laughs> he gives you all those emails and he rides around and takes photos but anyway we will have uh, certificates but we just wanted to just make sure that you know that um, council the mayor the administrators really do appreciate the job and we just need to often just take time and say thank you. So we just, we just want to publicly say thank you because we know you're out there in the hot sun and um, and we're telling you when you need to get to doing something, but we really do appreciate each and everything that you all do. Thank you. tried to replace 
beat him down first. She was a tough girl. She's from 1919. She might have been old, but she was mighty. But um, Ricky said he finally got her, and, and he had to divorce her. So anyway, so that was having old an old um, fire hydrant like that took a lot. And so what they had to do was actually shut down water lines and connections on probably about the seven or eight streets. And we got it out on Facebook, and we sent it to the media. And I know that that doesn't always help, but we do need to look at how we can better actually get the word out. But in either event, want um, Ricky's crew to come up. We're going to um, call out the names and, and provide the help certificates. All right, John Wallace. Is John Wallace here? All right. You were right out there. Thank you. And I have, I have one more. Um, this is probably the um, the brattiest person that I have to deal with on staff, but he is amazing, very visionary, and he would probably say that I don't deserve any type of recognition because it's my men and women. And that's Chief Kip Coker. His spirit has is so infectious, and he really does live, breathe. Um, Lake City, so um, Chief.
ladies. Okay. Um, this is um, second um, and final reading on Ordinance 2018-475, essentially um, amending our ordinances to adopt the holiday the, the <coughs> holiday observations for city employees, um, as well as to revise the city business days. At our previous meeting, the council adopted the ordinance <coughs> in its entirety when it was not intended. I think you all, that was not your intention. So the ordinance will need to be uh, amended on the second reading. Okay. Uh, at this time, the floor is open for Ordinance 2018.475, second and final reading with the amendment. And I'd like to make a motion to amend on the second reading of Ordinance 2018.475. The ordinance of the City of Red City, South Carolina, Part 1, Ordinance uh, Code of Ordinance, Chapter 2, Article 9, that the City of Red City adopt the state holiday obligations for city employees beginning with fiscal year 2019 only. And that any changes Section 2-340, 2-366, revising the city business day to table and that business day remain 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Second. Properly moved and second. Any questions or discussion? If none, all those in favor by show of hands. Second. Any questions or discussion? I got, I got a question. Oh, that property, is 
it come all the way up to how far up is that property going? Is it going to take out those four buildings? I believe so. Again, I have a I have a map, but again, that's one of the reasons why I wanted it referred to the planning commission so that we would be able to uh, to actually really study it because we received this request. Um, on, I received a letter essentially today and the request on Friday. Okay. Um, and now, um, resolution. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, and um, resolution 201-326 um, for approval. Essentially, this is a FEMA grant that the um, City of Lake City received um, to purchase a generator. The current generator, I think, is from 1990. And what it does is essentially help the wells to continue working in the event of, of a flooding or a hurricane. And so we received this grant to actually purchase a, a, a new generator. And it would keep all of our, it would, it would pull from our reservoirs so that we would actually continue to have water to have there. And again, it is grant. grant funding. They need a motion to approve resolution 2018. Point three two six for approval for the generator for the generator. Move to approve twenty eighteen point three two six. Second. Properly moved and second. Any questions or discussion? Question. Okay. This is this is not like the one we had out here at the sewer plant, is it? No, sir. This we buy this, right? That's, yeah, that's a right. careful we'll be purchasing that. That'll be if you mobilize at any of the wells during a hurricane uh, situation or like just no set of flood. Uh, the one we have now is about nine models right. that we're working with. We have models from 1989 for our system line, so it's, it's been good. It's good. But we don't, we don't have any rentals on the Yeah. I don't know that what y'all are referencing, but no, this has actually been bid out. We would, we would purchase it. Okay. It's been bid out. All those in favor of our show of hands? Turn the financial summary over to um, CFO Deputy Administrator. <coughs> uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, in your packet, you have a uh, report that has uh, uh, five or six pages. It's similar to what uh, we talked about uh, the past uh, month. I'll start with the first first page just to give you an update because it's the first of the year. Obviously, the information is limited that you have. Uh, but as you can see in the report, and it's on the screen for others to see, um, that for the general fund, it's broken down into four major funds. Uh, the general fund with a budget of $6.9 uh, million so far for one month, we've only spent $150,000 slide over to the last column, you'll see that last year at the same time, we had spent $456,912. Uh, everyone have the sheet? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so um, what I'd like you to be used to looking at would be uh, the revenue numbers. You can see we collected $299,000 this year compared to $193,000 from the prior year. Why is the subject clutch the board? <clears throat> well, um, it, it's just going to depend upon the timing. You're only through 8% of the year. Uh, some of the items that we have collected are going to be cyclical. They're going to be during the month of July. Uh, your, um, uh, for example, business license. We collect in July, but we pull it back to June. So it just is a matter of when you collect them. I'll, I'll, I'll direct your attention to go to the next slide. Uh, I tried to uh, put together charts that would help you answer some of those questions. Uh, um, you can see that uh, this graph is for the general fund revenue. And what I did is I left, I put three years of data on there. So you can see the trend. 
and the little red bar, because it's so small, it's hard to see, but the little bar, red bar in July, you want to see that? <clears throat> That's graphing the current year. So one of the things this will do for you, I believe, is it will let you look at it at a glance and tell, do you have something that's really atypical from the prior years? And when you have that, that's when we should have a conversation about what's going on with the weather cell program. And so the next slide is going to be the graph on the general fund expenditures. And you can see we put on the graphs at the top in the gray bar. We put on there your budget. Um, so your current budget is 6.9 million, 6 million, 969 thousand. And your current your actual is 150 thousand. So it gives you